First up on the Senate agenda was the reconfirmation of Chief Justice Stuart Rabner. Chairs were reserved for him and a guest, but he did not attend. The Judiciary Committee on Monday approved his nomination 11 to 2. Debate on the Senate floor today reflected that division, with some Republicans supporting him and others saying they just cannot. I don't doubt that Justice Rabner is an amazing person, a good man, perhaps a great manager, but I disagree with the way he looks at the Constitution. Democrats uniformly supported him. He has performed the duties with dignity and class and with all the intellectual capacity that one could ask for. And as far as his decisions, he's not someone who's way to the left or way to the right. He's clearly mainstream New Jersey. But his Republican critics fault the Supreme Court's decisions on the distribution of school aid and say that makes up their minds. Some of us have been crying out for years to treat our children, my children, fairly. He has led a court that has made New Jersey less prosperous and less successful. One veteran conservative voted yes half-heartedly. This Chief Justice is better than many. But that isn't saying an awful lot because we have had some real clunkers. The vote on Rabner was 29 in favor and six against. Judge Lee Solomon, Governor Christie's other Supreme Court nominee, attended with his family and had an easier time of it. His appointment was approved 34 to 2. A former assemblyman and BPU president, he was praised by his legislative running mate of 20 years ago. I guess I always knew that uh, he had a lot of potential, but here we are seeing the ultimate for him, and I am uh, very pleased for him. The Senate then took up Senate President Sweeney's bill to reshape the governing boards at Rutgers University. The controversial legislation has been through changes, and after it passed here 22 to 13 today, Sweeney said he'd hold off sending it to the Assembly for 90 days to give the Rutgers boards more time to implement recommendations from their own internal report on school governance. And the Senate unanimously approved the compromise recently announced on a 2 percent cap for police and fire salary arbitration cases. The compromise basically preserves the cap. In Trenton, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.